It's been years since the Great Recession, but it's still having an impact here in the East. And because of that, leaders in one county are hoping to attract new businesses by going ahead and starting the construction process for them. More in this week's Growing the East. With views like this, it's no surprise Beaufort County is a popular place to live. It's also a popular place to do business. According to Martin Johnson, the director of Beaufort County Economic Development, the county's popularity is a blessing and a curse. For the good, we have no buildings available uh, for clients that come in um, to, to look at, to physically see, to touch. And um, that's good because you know all the buildings have uh, got employees in them and uh, uh, manufacturing products. It's uh, bad from my point of view because I got nothing to sell. Johnson estimates nearly 75% of companies are looking to set up shop in a pre-existing building. They kind of know what they want and they want to act immediately. They don't want to take the time to say, okay, yes, we'll build, we'll, you know, nine to 12 months to, to build a, a building from scratch. And because of that, the county is trying to get one step ahead. Along with a group called the Committee of 100, they're looking to build an industry-ready shell building here at the City County Industrial Park. Basically, the uh, industry ready building will save about six months in terms of if somebody wants to take that building, uh, in terms of investigating, you know, the, the, the land, um, permitting, you know, construction. Starting at around 22,000 square feet, the shell building could be expanded and customized by any company that takes over. Johnson hopes it's an idea that will catch on. There's nothing like momentum. Basically, the old saying, success breeds success. So if we can show we're successful with this, then people will hopefully sharpen their pencil and think about investing in the county. Plans for the project aren't final. There will be a public hearing at the next Beaufort County Commissioner's meeting on March 6th. If approved, construction could be finished by the end of the year.